Thrifty and Green. Yep, we're going to have monthly videos to help share our thrifty and green tips with you. And this month we will be talking about Halloween. Ooh. So we've done our research. We have plenty of amazing tips on how to decorate your home, find the perfect costume, and just pretty much everything else that deals with Halloween. So the first thing people see when they walk into your house is your wreath. Ding dong. On your front door. Yes, and we don't think you should have to spend a lot of money on this, and we also think that you can be green. Why is this wreath so green? Well, we got it in an arts and crafts supply store for just $5, and it's so reusable. As you can see, it's very basic, very autumnal, mm -hmm. and what we're going to do to make this a Halloween wreath is just put some amazing great black ribbon we just had in our bin of I all know. of our lovely like arts and crafts arts and crafts jungle home. yeah so we'll wrap it around here and if you have any extra spooky ornaments like bats or ghosts you can put them on here when halloween is over and november rolls around take it off and garnish with maybe some like oh i don't know or uh, thanksgiving sort of thing <laughs> and that's your thanksgiving wreath so i guess the point here is have something basic and then build on it. It's like having a blank canvas and then switching it for each holiday season. Exactly. Another great way to decorate your home for Halloween is with lights. You can use lots of spooky candles everywhere if you're having a party or you just want to get in the spirit. We don't think you should have to buy special Halloween candles or candle holders. Because how often are you going to use black, orange, purple yes, candles? Yes, you're going to put them away or even worse, throw them away and that's yeah. waste. So we think simple white votives, and these are so inexpensive. Stick with what you have. Yeah, in a very simple orange paper bag that we have decorated and this looks so nice and spooky at night. And these paper bags, they're recyclable and it's such a fun art project. It definitely is. Another thing I love about these bags is you can not only use them for your decorations, your votives, but also as little goodie bags. Yes, for the candy, the, the, the trick-or-treaters, exactly. right? Exactly. <laughs> and like these little stickers are amazing. We got it at a craft store and it's just a fun project to do with your kids. Mm -hmm. So these bags, great for everything. everything. So if you're having people over for the Halloween festivities, either people are trick-or-treating and stopping by, or maybe you want to throw a Halloween party, it's great to have something on hand like a punch, something for people yeah. to drink, but you don't need to buy plastic cups or spend all that energy washing dishes. Get paper cups. They are recyclable. You can personalize them with these great stickers. And what are these stickers from, Claude? The goodie bags that we made earlier. So everything comes full circle. You can full use circle, these yeah. items for everything. And people can decorate their own. And you can even leave out Sharpies so people can personalize them. Exactly. And uh, you won't get them mixed up that oh, way if you right. write your name on the cups. <laughs> and that's also green because yeah. that way people aren't throwing out their cups and getting new ones. They're keeping their cup all green. night long. Yeah, green party. So we have finished our Halloween wreath with our beautiful black ribbon, and we're going to go hang it on the door. I think we are, yeah. And if you have more questions on how to throw a thrifty and green Halloween, check out thekisters.com or the full article on thriftyandgreen.com. You can find out what to wear on a budget and how to make that super secret punch we were drinking in our paper cups. Ooh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.